boys. Greetings Mafia, I'm gonna show you guys a video clip that went viral here in uh, Southeastern Europe and then we're gonna break it down. It's a short clip, basically a candid camera, but it does a great job in exposing uh, today's young women as nothing more than uh, gold diggers. And it's really a smoking gun and illustrates perfectly the state of mind of today's young women, completely debunking the Nawal myth. And I already made like two videos about Nawal, so if you haven't seen them, check them out. And since this video is in a Croatian language, I need to give you a short synopsis of uh, what's going on, even though it's very self-explanatory. Now, it's a candid camera, the guy is in on it, the girl is not, and the guy is sitting on an average car, I can call it a shit car, but it's an average car, and the girl is walking by, and then he stops her for a minute asking her if she can point him direction to the nearest restaurant, and if she does so, he'll buy her lunch. Now, at first she says, no, I'm sorry, I don't know any restaurants around here, have a nice day, and he's like, okay, thank you anyway. And then he gets up, and he's walking towards this big uh, Mercedes SUV, and uh, when she sees that, she suddenly gets her memory back. And she tells him, oh, yeah, 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 I just remember a restaurant uh, nearby, I can uh, show you the directions. And he's like, okay, cool, get in. So, uh, just when she was about to get into the car, he suddenly tells her, look, I changed my mind, I really don't like gold diggers. Now, up to this point, she was very ladylike, um, and I would say she's uh, between 8 and 9, but then suddenly, in a split second, the lady has left the building. She spits on a guy and starts cursing the shit out of him, and then she walks away in anger. And bear in mind, she doesn't know who this guy is, yet she's more than willing to get into his car simply because she smells money. So, without any further ado, let's take a look. Hey, Mala, prosti, uspori Mala. Da. Uh, prvi put sam ovdje u ovom kvartu, pa htio bi nešto pojest, pa ako bi mi htjela pokazati neki restoran. Evo, ja častim. Jo, spakat ne znam, sorry. I šta, prosti. Ako hoćeš, mogu ti pokazati. To sam zapravo i upadaj. Ajde, može, nije bed. Stani, 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 pričekaj malo. Uh, vidiš, zapravo stvar je u tome što... Ne volim sponzoruše. Molim? Kad ti materi na džubre jedno. Okay, this is what we're dealing with, Mafia. Make no mistake about it. This is what we're dealing with. Now, most of you already know this, so I'm really preaching to the choir. So to you, this video clip is just entertainment. And this video is more aimed at the blue pill guys. Now, some of you will say, well, wait a second, gangster. Why the fuck should you care about the Sims, about the blue pills, etc.? Well, I do care because I hate to see any man get destroyed by these whores, okay? I don't care how simple she is or if he's the world's number one mangina. Bottom line is, he's better than any of these whores. So all you the simps out there, male feminists, white knights, you should really think hard about what you just saw. Because uh, like my man, Dark Loner says, men going their own way is really men going their only way. And think about this. Imagine if you were playing the game of chess, okay? And you have, say, black pieces. You're playing with black pieces, your opponent has the white pieces, and the whole board is white okay not one single black field basically you're stuck you can't move you can't do shit okay while your opponent can move on any side he can do pretty much whatever the hell he wants this is you playing against the system this is you playing against the culture that glorifies whores you can't win period period so the only thing you can really do is leave the board and not playing the game now, in this uh, candid camera clip, they use typical PUA trick. This is what many PUAs do, you know, to, to get laid, basically. They put on this facade like they have a lot of money, and then they, you know, keep this facade as long as they can. But as soon as the woman figures out that uh, they're full of shit and they don't really have the money, they jump ship. Because they don't care about what kind of guy he is, uh, if he is... Uh, decent or not, all they care about is uh, what you can do for them, alright? 
And I'm not always talking about money. Uh, it may not be necessarily money. It can be something that uh, they need or some kind of a service or favor. Anything that can help them gain something. Now, I know what some of you Blue Pill guys think. Uh, you think like, oh, my girlfriend would never do that because uh, she never dated a guy simply for money. You know, she's after love and all that bullshit. Well, that's because your girlfriend is probably five or if you're lucky, six. Or maybe she's really young and she still didn't have a chance to develop the mindset of a mature woman. But make no mistake about it, if she was, say, eight or nine, she wouldn't even talk to you, let alone fuck you. She won't give you the time of her day. And uh, I know a lot about PUA, I used to be one in a way. I can make a channel just, you know, talking about PUA tricks, but I'm not gonna do that, you know, stay MGTOW if you're already MGTOW. But I'm not ashamed to admit that, you know, I have a past just like everybody else. So what I'm doing right now is just sharing my experience with the Mafia, but also with all the blue pill guys, or even uh, purple pill guys. There is no such thing as no wall, aka not all women are like that. It's bullshit, it's a smoke screen. Don't let yourself fall for that. And remember the words of Tony Montana. First, you get money. Then you get money, you get power. And when you get power, then you get the woman. It's as simple as that.